all right yes sir let's go today is friday july 12th i only got three jobs to do so this morning this trash came out right here this is go share go share always putting trash out unbelievable man these are not one but two of those big old back door sliding glass doors and they got one delivery pro they requested one delivery pro to deliver two of those things that is a four-man job for 34 dollars so fortunate for me and this is why i say you got a multi-app you absolutely have to if you're going to do local gig work you better have at least five gig apps or more on your phone active ready to go so i patiently waited and freight came out with a booming order you're gonna have to work a little bit but it's absolutely worth it absolutely worth it it's gonna take about an hour and a half to complete that job i'll show you the pay on it when i'm done i'm like you know what i had a pre-scheduled dolly for later today at one o'clock so i'm like okay I'm loading up my van, get ready to head out. Dispatch hit me with one. Pickup is very close to the freight pickup and the drop off is very close to the drop off for the freight order. Works out absolutely perfect. So it's always good to know your area, to be able to look on the map, see the address. Cause you, you know, you gotta accept these pretty quick. If you know your area, you can, you can quickly run it through your head and see that's going to work for me. Look at the, the load, how, how much you're picking up. You know how much room you got in the back of your van? Absolutely, I can do both of those orders. Two different gig companies. All pick up, same area, drop off, same area. So we about to get it today, man. All right, man. So my first pickup is with, uh, I'm doing the dispatch order first because I know that freight has a little more leeway than dispatch. Dispatch, you really gotta go right away. They're, they're kind of strict on the pickup times. So I'm gonna do pick up dispatch order first. I believe it's 10 items. And then I'm gonna pick up the freight order. Uh, that should be a pallet. And then uh, I'm gonna do the freight delivery first because I wanna get rid of the heavy item first, the heavy load. Uh, I'll be delayed on the dispatch delivery, <clears throat> but I will let them know. So it's a Sherman Williams to a Sherman Williams. I will have them call the store for me, let them know, hey, I'm gonna be running a little bit late, but uh, I'll get it there. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's get it, let's go. All right, y'all, we are here. We are pulling up to the back of Sherman Williams. We're gonna pick this order up real quick and uh, keep it a pushing. So we're just gonna pick up our items real quick and keep pushing. All right, we just picked the load up. It's this right here, two cans, that's it. All right, man, I'm gonna show you the pay on everything too when we're done. All right, we're heading to pick up the freight order now. Texas y'all only in Texas it literally was just raining in one spot like raining hard too one little spot I drove like probably about a hundred yards through that I don't understand that now look, look at look at this nothing can't even tell it's raining it's a little cloudy all right y'all we're here pulling up to the tile shop I actually haven't been to the tile shop in quite some time um, so these are this when you get an order from the tile shop on freight you're gonna get paid you are gonna get paid most of the time but you are gonna work too so uh load and unload is included on mine um you gotta make sure that it says that on there you make sure you get paid so more than likely i'm gonna get loaded with a forklift but uh the unload i'm probably gonna have to unload by hand so 
I don't mind though. It's definitely well worth it. Well worth it. All right, man, let's get loaded up. A few moments later. All right, so I see why I don't get orders at this tile shop. Uh, nobody does because they have a preferred driver. I forgot that freight has a uh, preferred driver now where uh, a store can have a specific freight driver do all the orders for them. Um, that's pretty cool, but you know, it shuts down everybody else. So uh, this person was like, you're not our regular driver. I'm like, oh, y'all got a regular driver? So anyways, um, that's something you could do with freight now. You can uh, offer your services at some of with their customers, the tile shop or Home Depot or whatever, whatever stores that they work with or any customer and uh basically be their preferred driver so a few moments later i'm gonna give you a phone number to call because what we're thinking happened is she didn't set up the preferred driver right because that guy who just came is who was supposed to pick that oh. Pal up. oh okay so number you ready this is who am i calling her name's sam she works at the other store oh okay right now all their stuff's coming here it's very confusing <laughs> all right so it's a 832 I was like, I gave it to the right guy because I told me he's like seven foot eleven. So oh, I was like, that, I, that I was know. definitely yeah, him. I know him. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But yeah, just call her. I don't. I don't know how freight works. I don't set up the orders. I just put them on the van. But it's not here. It's no, here, I just or? sent it out. Yeah. Oh no, you went with him. Yeah, it went with him. Oh, so I can cancel it. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> so if you guys heard you should have this microphone's pretty good you should have heard so basically their preferred driver is the guy that just let when i pulled up there was a guy here that guy i actually showed him on one of my videos before he's like seven foot something tall big tall dude and he's got a, a low roof van so i don't know how he fits in it but that was him um so he already took the pallet he's on his way now um so i'm gonna cancel the order hopefully i get paid at least half um, but I'll still show you the pay and everything. Um, but yeah, so basically this preferred driver stuff, I don't know where the mix up was or what happened, but that order came out. I, it was available to me. I was able to accept it. I came all the way here and their preferred driver already took it. All right, y'all. So I just canceled that order. Um, so I should get half. So the pay on that one, I was driving 50 something miles, 52 miles, something like that. Uh, it was paying $153. It was one four by four pallet uh, that weighed about a little over a thousand pounds. Um, I saw the pallet. I saw it on the back of the other guy's van. It was it wasn't a big pallet at all. So that was been a pretty easy job. That's big money for that that uh, little uh, work. So uh, the drive, like I said, 52 miles, definitely worth it. 153 dollars, uh, a little bit of labor. Um, so I canceled it. I'm supposed to get half, so I'll find out, make sure I get half. That, that's gonna give me about $76. Um, I'll take it just for showing up, and I didn't even have to drive that far. So this, it kind of makes the order that I accepted with dispatch not really worth it, because uh, I wouldn't have accepted the dispatch order if I knew that I couldn't pick this order up. So I only accepted it because I was going that way. So with this $153 order, I was heading that way anyways. So that's why I accepted the dispatch order because it wasn't worth it. So um, I'm still gonna do it. Obviously, I got the I got the paint now. I'm just gonna do the do it. Uh, I have to drive 60 miles. So again, this one is not worth it uh, because of the cancellation. It kind of screwed me, but um, I'm still gonna profit today. So it happens. Those things happen. Just gotta deal with it. All right. Hopefully, uh, we can make up for it later on today. We'll see. So actually the drive was like 52 miles if I left uh, straight from that Sherman Williams. It was a longer drive because I went to go pick up that uh, the freight order. Um, two things I thought of. So one, I, another dispatch order came out and the pickup is, uh, it's in a town called Bernie. I am literally driving past Bernie right now. I'm about to pass through Bernie right now. That order came out, I was trying to accept it 
and it said not possible with your route and that's all because of the time restraint so it's it's a computer system the computer don't know better it don't know that i'm like passing right by it and it's going to the exact same sherman williams that i'm going to right now with this this order that i got exact same sherman williams that's the drop off i literally could swoop up pick it up right now it's right off the freeway pick it up and take both of them but it won't let me so uh that's you know i understand the computer software stuff you know it tries to you know it, it's based on the timing the time i'm it's gonna it thinks it's gonna make me too late for the other drop off the reality is i already contacted the other sherman williams so they know i'm running a little late so it's not a big deal but the computer doesn't know that um but anyways uh, i can't get that order so no biggie uh, my fault one more thing i forgot to mention on the preferred driver with freight uh, i've noticed that there's not a lot of orders coming out with freight anymore it used to be a lot of orders uh, i think a lot of drivers are doing it i'm not sure i'm just assuming because of the um, amount of orders that's coming out it's very few um and i'm referring to cargo van load so there's a lot of car orders that i see um 18 17 dollar orders um for cars but i am not seeing cargo van loads anymore and that's probably why so it's very very difficult to get a load now on freight unless you're a, a preferred driver all right uh, we made it down here uh it was a pretty smooth it was it was uh no traffic at all so um it just wasn't worth it because i lost that freight order but it's still cool so this job paid uh 69 dollars I'm just gonna drop these two cans off and, and get going. All right, y'all, all done with that order. Just dropped it off. Um, so I'm driving about, uh, it's about 60 miles, uh, kind of back to the area I was at where I picked up the Sherman Williams order. It's that same area. So I'm going to Big Lots. Uh, this is a Dolly order that I picked up yesterday. And it's one that I could do by myself. I'm not 100% sure what the item is. Um, my uh ramp making all that noise um i think it's a tv stand i think it's a tv stand and it might be in a box i don't think it's put together so uh it says it weighs 70 pounds so i can do that by myself i don't need a helper so anyways that's what we're about to do all right uh should be smooth sailing headed back so be there in no time all right y'all so i just made it back to town i was literally about 10 minutes away from the dolly pickup and i was checking my roadie map i put in for a tractor supply order that was pretty good paying uh, i think it was like 40 45 dollars something like that um it's one item i don't remember how much it weighs i don't think it weighs too much so i put in for it uh usually roadie uh it's very difficult to get uh to win those um I'd say probably every 20 roadies that I put in for, I'll probably win like two, two out of 20. So anyways, I got it and I'm uh, one mile from the pickup. So I'm about to go do that now and then I'll head to my uh, dolly after that. Or actually, I I'm not sure yet. I got to see where this drop off is. If it's a quick drop off, I'll do that first because uh, it's 1230. I have to one o'clock to pick up dolly. All right, y'all just made it to uh, tractor supply. And uh, we're gonna go inside and see what we got. Get loaded up. There's another roadie that just came out. Um, it's paying $36, but it's kind of uh, out of the way. Uh, it's not really worth it for the drive. All right, y'all. I'm just waiting to get loaded up. Uh, it's some type of tank or something. I don't think it's too heavy though. Uh, so <laughs> I ran into a subscriber, new subscriber. Um, he's got a car and uh, you know, that's that's how you got to do it, man Get on with your car if you have to and then you can always upgrade later with the van So anyway, he had this order and put it back out Because uh, it's going on a military base. So I do have military ID. So I should be able to get on pretty quick All right, so I'm just gonna get this loaded up Yeah, that's it Ski. All right, 
All right, we are at Big Lots. This is my dolly pickup. Uh, I'm not gonna record much, trying to keep the video a little shorter. So uh, we're just gonna pick this up and keep on pushing. Uh, this was four miles away. And the uh, I'm probably gonna do this uh, little tub. I'm gonna probably do that first because uh, it's a military base. And then uh, I'll do the other one. The other one's like kind of going toward my house. So it's a perfect, perfect ending, the dolly. All right, should be pretty quick. All right, that's it, y'all. That is it. I actually, I accidentally had my camera on time lapse, but this is the order. Too easy. All right, we're driving uh, 13 miles for the uh, roadie drop off. Um, hopefully there's no delay in getting this delivered. I think it is a military base. Um, and then uh, I don't know how far that drive is uh, to the um, the Dolly drop off, but that's gonna be my last order. That uh, dispatch order that I could have did when I was passing by is, is coming out now. So I could have already had that delivery done, but it is what it is. All right, y'all, I'm getting close to the drop off. Um, if it is a military base, I, I can't record uh, without permission. So um, I won't be recording. I'm pretty sure it is though. So uh, I'll just let you guys know how it went. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. All right, y'all, so I am at the delivery location. It's gonna be this building right here. Um, so the guy, I didn't get his name, the guy I was talking to, uh, the new subscriber, but he he turned this order down because it was a military base. But uh, it is, but you actually don't need ID to get to this part. It's not actually like on the base. So you missed out, brother. <laughs> I'll take it though. So anyways, uh, I just gotta find where to go. I'm gonna call the customer and see if they can direct me where to go. Uh, it's, it's this building right here. I just gotta figure out where to go. So let me flip around. Uh, there was a guy in that truck over there. I asked him and he said probably up the front. He didn't, he, he doesn't work here, but he said the delivery is probably gonna be in the front of the building. So let me flip around. All right, so this is the uh, front of the building right here. I'm just gonna go in this office and see where this stuff goes. So shouldn't be much longer to get this dropped off. Right here in the visitor parking. So no IDs or anything. This is open to the public to get here. All right, y'all. So I was at that building right there and they just told me to go right next door and right here. It says shipping and receiving. So I'm just going to ring this little bell and they should let me in. All right, y'all. We are all done. Just got it dropped off at that dock over there. Um, this actually worked out perfect. So my uh, dolly is only uh nine miles from here and that's going toward my house so this has worked out great so that uh delivery was pretty easy uh the guy came out rolled the cart out i just put it on top of the cart um the lady that ordered it lives in houston she's not even here i was calling her she wasn't answering the phone so anyways all good got it delivered did not take any time and uh appreciate my guy for letting that one go i needed it too because i was a little a little hurt by losing that freight order, man. I was excited about that. But uh, everything worked out. So I still didn't make as much as I could have, but I'll, I'll tally it up at the end. All right, pulling up to the customer's house. Um, this did not take any time at all. Uh, so <laughs> there's a lot of orders coming out. Dispatch has some orders, but they're really far. Uh, car orders too. Um, Again, I, I, I tell you guys, if I was uh, just money hungry, um, there's a lot of orders I could do, but uh, I'm very strategic. So I'm turning a lot of stuff down, but I'm gonna talk about that on uh, part two. Real talk part two, coming soon. A few moments later. All right, y'all, so we're gonna be a little delayed. Um, I got the customer's house is supposed to be on that street right there. That's where the nav took me. That's a different street name. It doesn't match what's on the app. So 
I looked on my map, like the Google map, I can't find that street. When I Googled it, it's uh, the address that's on here is in Austin, not in San Antonio. So anyways, uh, I'm calling support to see if I need to take it back or if they could get a hold of the customer. So anyways, um, that's what I'm waiting on. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully, if I take it back, I get paid double. So that's cool. 2,000 years later. All right, man. So <laughs> I've been waiting probably about 30 minutes. And uh, I was on the phone with uh, Dolly Support. They're trying to get a hold of the customer. I'm trying to get a hold of them. We're typing in the different addresses into Google. And um, we just can't find this person's house. It's the nav, it, it's too new. So I looked everywhere on the map. So finally the customer just called me and gave me directions um, based on landmarks. And actually, you know what? This is uh, Dolly Support calling me now. Hold on. All right, that was Dolly Support calling me back. So, okay, we got it. The Everything's wrong about this. Um, the address is wrong. I still don't see it. He gave me directions, though. Hold on, let me, uh, let me see if I can find this. All right, um... I'm still not seeing this is the street right here this is the street but i'm still not seeing the address let's see if it's down here i'm still not seeing it bro this is getting ridiculous and let me call this guy back man let me call him back. So this is the name of the street right here. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Hey, look at this. This is where it's at. It's on. It's right on the corner. <laughs> oh man, this was like three blocks away. So, anyways, let me get this delivered so I can get out of here. All right, y'all, let me bring this to an end. We done. Uh, this video might be a little over 20 minutes. We'll see. But uh, just to close it out, if I was able to do that uh, that freight order, um, let me tell you how much I would have made. So if I if I got that freight order for 153, uh, plus I had dispatch order for 69, uh, the roadie was 45, and this order was 46, uh, I would have made... 313 um since the freight got canceled i get half of that 50 percent um 76 dollars is what i got 69 for dispatch 45 roadie and 46 for this dolly so i actually made 236 today so so that's still good uh reached my goal and uh, can't complain can't complain with that that roadie definitely helped me out though. Uh, I'm glad I, I have to tell you, man, you gotta constantly check the roadie map. Uh, do it during your dead time. When you're driving to another location, just grab, just constantly check it because those type of orders, they come out quite often. So there are times when, you know, the roadie map will have a lot of orders, but they're low paying. You'll get like Home Depot, $11, $12, all that stuff, but Every now and then, a $36 order will come out, a $40 order, uh, tractor supply. Um, that, that thing I delivered, that little tub, paid $45. I've done an entire grill, like a big old heavy grill 
for the same, $45 on Brody. Uh, I've done stuff that's like ridiculous heavy for the same price. So that was actually a good one. It was really light. I was able to carry it by myself. So anyways, uh, that's it for today, man. Didn't make that 300, but it's all good. Uh, still a nice way to end, uh, end the day. So I wouldn't mind taking that dolly order back. I would've got paid double, but uh, finally the customer called me. He's out of town and um, they ordered that and they also ordered a sofa, which somebody else is picking up. So they're gonna have a tough time finding that house. So I told them to keep their phone. Tell your husband, to keep his phone available because somebody's gonna call. So anyways, uh, that's it for today, man. Y'all have a great one and I'll catch y'all on the next one.